Well, more spectacular images from NASA's groundbreaking James Webb telescope have just been released, allowing us to see deeper into space than ever before and giving us insights into parts of the universe that are hundreds of millions of light years away. In a moment, we'll speak with Professor Richard Esther to break down what exactly we're looking at. But first, here's Leighton Heiko. It's been called the closest thing to time travel. NASA says these remarkable pictures will help uncover the answers to questions we don't even know to ask. Questions that will help us better understand our universe and our place within it. We don't want to ever stop exploring the heavens nor stop daring to take another step forward for humanity. They're the first full-colour, high-resolution images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, looking deeper into the cosmos than ever before. They're fantastic, absolutely beautiful, and they're a real hint at the power that the observatory will have. And lift off. The telescope launched in December and is orbiting Earth nearly 1.6 million kilometres away. It's made up of 18 gold-plated segments that form a giant mirror and a tennis court-sized sun shield. Compared with the last we had, the improvement in technology over the past 30 years is clear to see. It's almost a spiritual experience because you realise that there was a beginning and we have come from that beginning. Just the start of a journey that will shape the future by looking into the past. Leighton Haeckel, News Hub. Well, for more on this, I'm joined in studio now by Professor Richard Easter. Thanks so much for coming in oh, tonight. It's an absolute pleasure. Two surprising things today. We've got a guest in the studio at 11pm, which is incredible. And we've also got these amazing images. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, so let's look at this first one. Uh, what are we exactly looking at here? Um, so what we're looking at here is a, um, a cloud of gas and dust in our own galaxy, about 7,000 light years away, I think, from memory. Um, and what we're seeing is a stellar nursery. So stars are born here, uh, and when they light up, they blow bubbles in this region, and the James Webb Space Telescope can see into this gas uh, much better than any previous instrument we've got. So we've got this in wow. far greater um, detail yeah. than we've been able to manage in the past. Gosh, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't oh, it's, it? It's stunning. It's really stunning. Right, I think we've got another uh, image that we're going to take a look at now. So let's have a look at this. Now, what have we got going on here? Uh, so what we've got here is actually, so our Milky Way is, is one galaxy, and what we've got here is a, a set of four galaxies, and actually a, a fifth one just down the bottom there. And these galaxies are um, nearly 300 million light years from Earth, so the light left these galaxies um, before they were dinosaurs. Um, and they're colliding with each other, and so when they collide with each other, you can see this um, uh, burst of star formation that's being generated. So the previous image we saw was like one little star-forming region in our galaxy, but the Anyone living in these galaxies would have would have an absolutely spectacular sky. Yeah, gosh, it certainly looks like it. And I think we've got one last image just to take a wee nosy at. Now, quickly, what have we got here? Uh, what we're looking at here is actually the death of a pair of stars. So they've puffed off um, rings of gas uh, from around them, and we're looking at what we call... It's called sometimes a planetary nebula, which is a slightly confusing name. But it's the end of end of life uh, moment for a pair of wow. stars in our own galaxy. Wow, that's awesome. Well, what's the next big space reveal that we should be expecting? What have we got up next? Uh, fr from the James Webb Space Telescope, it's been it's working for people. So you know, scientists have applied for time, you know, what they want to do with it, and so we can expect an absolute um, slew of discoveries coming from us every time we get better at looking at the sky. We we learn new things, and so we've found out that it works as we hoped, and uh, yeah, big things will happen. Now, when you look at the scale of these images, I mean, how far away is everything that we're looking at here? So some of the, the two of the birth of the stars and the death of the stars are in our own galaxy. So that, the light took thousands of years to reach us. Um, the distant galaxies we're seeing, uh, the light took hundreds of millions of years to wow. reach us and there'd be tiny little spots on the sky. Incredible stuff. And here we are on Earth. Well, thank you so much for coming uh, in absolute pleasure. tonight.